Hi, my name is Doyle Bloss, and I'm with Hydromaster here in Mukilteo, Washington. Today, we're going to take you through a little bit of training on how to use the new Hydromaster Find a Van portal. What this portal simply is, is access to all five major van manufacturers' websites. These websites show the inventory for available cargo vans by uh, geographic areas, started by zip code. So what this gives you the ability to do is if you use a wide search, you can virtually search the entire country to try and find the van that you want to use. As you're probably aware, there is going to be for the foreseeable future, a shortage of available cargo vans, specifically to the Chevy Express and GMC Savannah model. But the fact is that there are shortages of all types of cargo vans right now. So one of the things that we wanted to do at Hydromaster is help provide to you a way to find where van inventories are. So I'm gonna go through a few points with you and then we're gonna do it live in one of the portals. We're gonna use the Chevy, the Chevrolet portal to look for uh, Chevy vans that are available right now. So let's talk a little bit about how to use this van portal. The Hydromaster Commercial Cargo Van Find Van Portal is on the Hydromaster website, and you'll be provided with a link which takes you directly to this page where you are now hopefully watching this video and getting ready to use the portal itself. The Find a Van Portal links to nationwide inventory for the following cargo vans, the Chevy Express, the GMC Savannah, the Ford Transit, the Dodge Promaster, and the Mercedes Sprinter vans. As you are probably aware, we are expecting challenges for the rest of the 2021 model year and the entire 2022 model year for all vans, but specifically to the Chevy and GMC uh, vans. As you probably heard, there's a large microchip shortage. And what this means is that the manufacturers of these vans have a limited build to capability over the coming 14 to 18 months. And what they're doing is applying the microchips that they can get ho a hold of to mo their most profitable vehicles. Generally, that's their high-end pickup trucks. Many of the fleet managers that you might be familiar with within our industry or in other industries have always been already been notified that their inventory will be greatly reduced or in some cases completely eliminated. There are many of these organizations that order vans in, in the hundreds of uh, numbers that are now being told that they might get 10 or 20 vans for the entire model year. And in fact, some of these fleet managers have been told they're not going to get any. What this means is that it's kind of a flip from normal status. Normally, the best place to get a new cargo van, regardless of the model, is from a fleet manager, specifically fleet managers who specialize in the cleaning and restoration industry. But even then, in your local market, it would be the fleet dealers that deal mostly with businesses that are the best places to get vans. But because these fleets are going, if they get any vans at all, they're going to direct them to their largest customers. So what this is going to create, at least for the short time future, is that the best availability for new vans may be at local, smaller, non-fleet dealers. So here's some important considerations to keep in mind when using these websites. Number one, always confirm availability of the van by calling the specific dealership listed directly. Just because a van is listed in one of these portals does not mean it's available and does not mean it's necessarily on the lot of that dealer. It may be en route, it may be being held at another location, and in some cases it may already be sold and delivered. So the only way for sure to know if you see a van that you're interested in to confirm that it's available and for sale is to call that specific dealership directly. Number two, many vans listed in these portals are not on the lot at the dealership. 
sometimes they are in transit, which means they're on their way to the dealer. And they're often marked that way on these websites. Number three, oftentimes dealerships will list vans on these sites that are on the lot or en route that are already sold. Why do they do this? Why would they list a van that's selling? Well, it's because they want to continue to generate interest from people like you and vans that they will have in the future. They look at it as an opportunity to generate leads. So the only way to ensure that the van that you're interested in is still for sale is to call that local dealership directly. Number four, as you're probably aware, cargo vans, all five brands, are at a premium right now. Many dealers are selling vans for prices higher than the MSRP, sometimes a lot higher. If you are in the market for a van and you need one now, you will be paying significantly more than if you bought that exact same van a year to 18 months ago. That's just the reality of the marketplace. Number five, set a wider parameter in miles from your zip code for a better selection of vans. In some cases, if you do a 50 mile sweep within your, from your zip code, you'll find that there are no vans available. And in some places, there are no vans available in your entire state. The wider parameter that you do, the more vans you're gonna see. And they're clearly marked with how far away from you they are. What we're finding right now is that many cleaning and restoration companies are buying vans located far away from their location. They're flying there or driving there to pick them up and then driving them back to their places. Number six. Many of the fleet dealerships that are the normal source for commercial vans were not provided with their allocations for 2022. As we've already stated, you may find smaller non-fleet dealers are more likely to have a van in stock that they can sell you because these dealers don't typically sell a lot of commercial vans. Number seven, and this is very important. Before you purchase any van for any specific truck mount, always consult with your local Hypermaster distributor to make sure that van, both the van itself, the type of engine in the van, the size of the van, the roof, whether it's low, medium, or high, whether it's an extended van, or a three-quarter ton, half ton, or full ton, all of those things need to be directly discussed with your Hydromaster distributor before you order and pay for your van. The last thing you want to do is go to all the trouble of buying a van right now and then find out that the machine you want or the accessories you want or the hose reels you want or the fresh water tank that you want won't fit in that particular van. And finally, always consult with your local Hydromaster distributor about any special subframes which might be required for the installation of a submount or standalone fresh water tank in any of the unibody vans, including the Ford Transit, the Dodge Promaster, or the Mercedes Sprinter, so that you can avoid no drill zone. Now what we'd like to do is show you exactly what that portal looks like. All right, this, when you open up the page to reach the Hydromaster Find a Van portal, you'll see those, those uh, eight points that we just went through. And then you'll see specifically the van model, the Chevy Express, the GMC Savannah, the Ford Transit, the Dodge Promaster, and the Mercedes Sprinter. And underneath that van, you'll find what Hydromaster truck mounts that van can specifically fit. Now, as we just mentioned a few moments ago, before you purchase any van, you always want to confirm with your local Hydromaster dealer that the machine you want will fit in the van that you want. 
But quickly, specifically, let's go through the direct drive that Hydromaster makes because that's generally one of the things that's most important. The Chevy Express and the GMC Savannah will fit the Hydromaster CDS 4.8 direct drive truck mount and the Hydromaster CDS 4.8 SV truck mount. The model year is what matters to that. If it's 2020 or before, it would be the CDS 4.8. If it's 2021 or after, it would be the CDS 4.8 SV. Then the uh, Hydromaster CDS X-Drive truck mount is a direct drive truck mount that will only fit in the Ford Transit. And generally, it'll fit in the low, medium, and high roof models. But you'll want to confirm that with your distributor. All of Hydromaster's slide-in truck mounts, the entire Titan series, the Titan 325, 425, 525, and 675, will all fit in all five of these vans. The Boxer 318 HP hard surface truck mount will fit in all five of these vans. The truck mount to go, the TMTG 4000, is not designed to be permanently installed in a van. So you would need to check if you're going to move it around with the van to make sure that it would fit in the van that you want. Most people transport the truck mount to go in a pickup truck or a box truck. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go specifically to the Chevy van portal and we're going to take a look at how to navigate. Okay, here we are at the link that we provide to you directly in to the 2021 Express Cargo Bay. That's what we're looking for. And so as you can see, we've drawn directly to the link that we provided to you. And now what we want to do is view the inventory that's available. So we click on View Inventory, and it should open up another screen. Now, what you do is you go to the left side of the screen and you enter in your zip code. The Hydromaster zip code is 98275. Then up above, you want to, that's where you set your search radius. And obviously, the larger the radius, the more bands that you're going to see. But as you can see, Within 25 miles of Hydromaster, there are only two vans that are shown as available. If we go all the way up to 2,000, then we're gonna have a lot more to choose from, 101. So to keep this within a reasonable thing, we're gonna set our parameter at 250 miles. So within the state of Washington, basically is what we're looking at here. Now you can look at, you can see what fans are available. You can see these are regular wheelbase, Summit White, all the things, and you can find all the details about the van. And in this case, the van is 2.3 miles away from me. But as I mentioned earlier, you always want to call the dealer directly to make sure this van is available for sale. This particular van is Blade Chevrolet, so we would need to call Blade Chevrolet and confirm with them that this price is available. And as you can see, the price tag is $40,187. One of the things that I always like to do too is look at the best choices there to look at the window sticker. That will tell you specifically what options are the vehicle. Sometimes the listings are so, have so many details, you know, cup holder, uh, things that don't matter. What we're looking for is the specific things about the van that you think are important. In this case, air conditioning would be a good one. All of these vans, I believe, now have a backup camera. I think that's required, so you'd make sure that's important. What kind of door it comes with. In the past, you've probably be, been able to pick whether you want a sliding door or whether you want um, doors that open 
like normal doors. You've been able to choose whether you had a window in the back or the sides. At this point, your limitations for features is going to be a lot less. So just keep that in mind when you start searching for these vans. So this van looks, it's a 2021 Express 2500. I'd rather have a 3500, but it's not available. But this van is a 4.3 V6 engine. Let me explain why that's important. Right now, the new CDS 4.8 SV is only available in the 6.6 liter engine. We're working to get it into the 4.6, but presently, so this van would not be a, we could not use that van to right now to install a new van into. So let's go back. All right, so how do we avoid that? Now that van might have been fine for a slide in, but we wanted to put a CDS. So let me show you how you can set some of the filters to help you make sure that you can only bring up bands that you won't want it. If you're looking for a uh, specific engine configuration, such as the 6.0, then you can go over here. This will tell you, like if you're looking for a four wheel drive, in this case, the powertrain, we are looking for a 6.6 .6 liter gas engine. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So you'll see within 2,000 miles of Hydromaster, you're going to find approximately 102 vans. But nine are exact, 93 are near matches. So you can use these filters to look for other things. It, the color, the trim, the dry cut, all that type of things that you can specifically say. But remember, the pickier you get, as you've seen right here, the less vans are going to show up. So now we have a van that's 43.7 miles away that does, have, it's a rear wheel drive, and it does have, it's 38,000, and it does have the 6.6 .6 liter van engine. But you know what? Let's confirm that before we get all excited because sometimes websites aren't perfect. So we're going to open up the window sticker and we're going to look and see what it says this van is. And see if we can find that. All right, if you look up here in the upper right hand corner, the engine is a 6.6 .6 liter V8, okay? So this van would work in all likelihood for a specific CDS installation. So that's how to navigate the websites. They all work fairly similar. And so whether you're looking for a Ford or a Dodge or a uh, Mercedes, uh, or Chevy, they all work similarly. Use the filters to get it down to exactly what you want, but make sure that you keep in mind the more filters you put on, the fewer matches you're going to get. And once again, we'll reiterate, always call the van dealership to make sure that the van is available and that it's still for sale. Thank you for joining us. And we hope that you find this portal useful to help you find a new van to help you grow your business. Thanks. Have a great day.